All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you have Oblivion Remastered installed and make sure that it's a fresh copy. If you guys have tried installing mods and it didn't work, just go ahead and uninstall the game and then reinstall it. It should reset your install folder. Now, before we continue, I have noticed that a lot of you that are watching are not subscribed. So if you would like to see more quick to the point tutorials, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as not only does it help me out, it also helps other people out as well too that would like to modify their own games and change the games to their liking just as yourself. Any support that you provide is always much appreciated and I want to thank you, the viewer, for watching this video. Thank you. Now that that is finished, we're going to go ahead with the next step here. We're going to minimize Steam there. We're going to open up our favorite web browser and we're going to head to this website here. I'll make sure to have all the links down in the description below. So if you're curious about any of these sites, just check there. We're gonna go ahead and download Vortex Mod Manager. This is what we're going to be using to install all of our mods for Oblivion Remastered. We'll just do a manual download here. Click download and slow download. Keep in mind you'll also need to be logged into Nexus as well too before you can download any files. Now that that download has finished, let's go ahead and click open. And it should go ahead and launch this right here for you. Just click yes, click install and go ahead and click finish as soon as that's done. It should run Vortex for us, which is exactly what we want. Now it looks like some of the information that I had from my last installation after trying this was saved, but I went ahead and cleared everything out. So we should be looking at a very similar page here. Um, just go ahead and click on mods here on the left. Should say you don't have any installed mods, which is perfect. And then go ahead and minimize that. And we'll open up a web browser and go to our next page here. This is going to be Oblivion Remastered Script Extender. This is something that's required for the majority of almost every single mod that you're going to be needing. Um, and if you're familiar with modding like Skyrim or anything like that, this is going to be a very similar process. So we'll just go ahead and scroll down here to files and we're going to manually download this. We'll do the slow download here. And as soon as that finishes, we're going to open up the folder that it came in. This is going to tell us which folder to look for it in here. So it's my downloads folder. We're going to open up Vortex and install from file. We're going to select this zip file that it gave us and we'll click open. And it should already have installed it. Don't worry about any of these errors up here right now. We will fix those in just a moment, but you should have OBSC 64 installed and you should be ready to install just about any mod from here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll minimize this once again. We'll open up the web browser and I have picked out a few mods. I just wanted to show you guys how easy this is. Um, in order to find these mods, I just go ahead and go straight to the Nexus Mods Oblivion Remastered page. And I personally like to click on popular and see all of the mods that most people download here. Usually they're pretty good mods to start with uh, and they definitely give you something good to go from here. So we have found a few of our mods and I've picked a few out. So let's go ahead and install them. The first one is going to be Baka Achievement Enabler. I personally tried this Universal Achievement Unblocker. It did not work quite well for me, um, but I found that Baka works perfectly. So we're going to install that first. We're going to click on Manual Download. Actually, never mind. We don't need to do that. We're going to click on Mod Manager Download because we have the Mod Manager. So we'll click download, we'll click slow download, and you will notice that the download just got added up here and then immediately installed. That's how easy it is. So I selected another mod here, Unleveled Item Rewards. This is a fantastic mod. What we're going to go ahead and do is click on files. We'll click on mod manager download. As a matter of fact, we want to double check to make sure that we have the latest version. So I usually like to check that just by seeing the date that's uploaded here. You can see that this one was uploaded a little bit later and it's also version 1.33. So we're going to go with that one here. We'll click Mod Manager Download, Slow Download. You'll notice the download got added and it got installed immediately. We'll go to the next one here. This is Balanced NPC Level Cap. This is another fantastic mod here. We'll click Files, we'll click Mod Manager Download. We'll click slow download and you'll notice again, same process. And this is literally all there is to it. It's that easy. 
Um, the next thing we want to do, you'll notice it says native plugins are in an, in an incorrect order. We'll click fix and that was instantly fixed there. If you have any other errors that come up here, you can click this uh, bell icon here and just go through and click fix or click change or whatever it needs to do. It'll ask you some basic questions. And if you're not really sure what to do with those basic questions there, just click the default options and click fix. After that, we're just gonna go ahead and launch the game here and you should be all good to go. So I do wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial as easy as possible. Be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe as many of my viewers are not subscribers and I appreciate any support I can get. Again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.